everybody, Big Daddy Biggs, West Louisiana Bee Farm, and what you are looking at is my next swarm trap. Um, this is a comfort hive, Sam Comfort Hive. You can look that up if you'd like to and get a little more information about it. But I'm going to break this thing open before we take off and go hang it somewhere. And kind of, I want to, I built this last year, and I want to make sure that there's no wasp nest in it before we go and hang it up. Because if you don't know this, if you have a wasp nest, Inside your swarm trap, you will not catch any bees. Guaranteed. They, they may hang out underneath the box, but they'll never go inside until that, that wasp nest is removed. So I'm going to check it out real quick, and then uh, I'll, I'll kind of show you what's going on on the inside. And if we need to make any adjustments, because it has been sitting out in the weather all year. But uh, let's do that real quick. Okay, no wasp nest. So let's kind of let me let, let me explain to you what's going on. We have one, two, three, four levels. One, two, three, and four of uh, comfort hive. Uh, each level has its own little set of skewers in it. Got a few ants running around in here. This was sitting on the ground, so they'll they'll be gone before long. Trying to find their their nest. Um, what I have on the skewers are a little bit of foundation wrapped around them, just to kind of give the bees a head start and a kind of an idea where they need to start. I see that down below. I don't know if the video is going to pick this up very well, but there are a few skewers that have fallen or are just out of place, kind of like that one right there, and then there's one down there closer to the bottom. Uh, one actually fell from right here, and that's not a big deal, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, well, it, it, it's really simple. The bees are going to start in one spot, and they'll probably start over here. And by the time they get started, I'll have picked up this box, brought it home, and I'll make all the necessary adjustments needed at that time. So without further ado, I'm going to put this thing back together. I am also going to put a board along either this side or, well, yeah, I'll put a board back here to hang it off of. I'll show you how all that works. And then I've got a spot kind of picked out that I want to go hang it. And I bet you can't imagine what we're going to be using to catch our bees. The magic formula. Swarm Commander. Get you some. Man, this stuff works like nobody else's business. It, it works, in my opinion, it works better than lemongrass oil. Even though that's what it smells like, that's not all there is to it. And uh, anyway, let's go do this. Bye. Okay, I was here yesterday. I don't know if you can see this on the video, and I can't seem to get my camera to zoom in. But right there at that corner in the back... Um, there are bees just coming and going like crazy. And I tried to get a little bit closer yesterday. They were pretty much doing the same thing. And they got on me a little bit. Not too bad. So I'm going to move in a little bit. See what I can do. I also had a little bit of swarm lure on my hand. So that may have had a, a little bit to do with it. But if I need to run, there's really nowhere to run. But there they are. That's the swarm I'm trying to catch. They're all up in this wall here. And this is just an old abandoned house. It's about to fall in. But I figured I would hang out some swarm traps here. And we're probably about two miles as the crow flies from West Louisiana Bee Farm. So uh, whatever swarms we catch, we're going to have to leave them in for a few days. Make sure the queen's laying. 
but we're going to drive a little ways from here. Oh, and David Ball, shout out to you for hooking me up with these beads. Appreciate it, man. I have to give you a jar of honey or get you some bees, get you started. But anyway, we're going to get out of here. We're going to go hang the swarm trap up probably uh, about half a mile from here. I already have a place picked out. So let's go do that. in my family y'all probably didn't know that I was related to Napoleon Bonaparte yes that's his name Napoleon Bonaparte Mayo this was my great uncle and I only met him once when I was a little little kid and uh, he and his wife Marie Aunt Marie uh, they're not the only great people in my family. <laughs> I'm actually related also to George Washington, Mayo, and Thomas Jefferson, Mayo. My family has a history of being very original with their names. Anyway, this is where I'm going to put out my swarm trap. We're about a mile, I said about a half a mile, but we're actually about a mile away from where that... Uh, colony of bees was so I'm about to pick out a spot here in the woods somewhere close because that thing's heavy and I don't want to have to pack it very far and we're going to catch some bees here I'll be back here about every week because I'm only a couple of miles from my house and I'll be rebating it that often so let's see where I can find Definitely the graveyard I want to be buried in when I die. You don't have to hold it forever. Oh, this one's a little more modern. Yeesh. On second thought, maybe you do have to hold it forever. <laughs> Compliment to Hurricane Laura. All right, let's find a bee spot. All right, this is exactly the kind of spot I like to find, if possible. Uh, this is a down tree. Again, compliments of Hurricane Laura, broken off. And uh, there's no hope for this tree, but it's not rotten. So I can, I can put a swarm trap here and screw into the tree just like I like to do. If the tree's damaged, I don't like doing it on older trees that aren't damaged. Uh, I wouldn't mind hanging it off of something like a sweet gum. Uh, they're, they're just trash trees anyway. But you got kind of an open area right here. And of course, you got the cemetery over there. Uh, about a mile maybe from the other bees. I haven't seen any bees here. Of course, I haven't really been looking. But this little open area is kind of a prime place, and it's opened up to that tree. So let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, and there's a uh, Chinese tallow tree right there. Oh, I know 
know it'll be a, an attractant to bees here in a few months. But anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna go grab the the uh, swarm trap, get busy hanging it up. Oh, I'm glad you didn't have to see all that. I'm winded. I'm out of breath. This has just about worked me to death. I think I'm close to a graveyard. Anyway, I digress. I couldn't put it on that tree. My, the screws that I brought have screwed me. <laughs> they weren't long enough to go through the bark and get a good enough hold on the actual part of the tree. So the other tree that I said I wouldn't mind hanging it in, well, that's the one it's hanging in. It's just an old trash sweet gum. I actually got a couple of screws to hold in it. Uh, then when I got through, this bottom box broke off. And so I had to put my one extra screw that I bought brought into there. Uh, now time for the, the magic stuff. Swarm command. So what you want to do, and I know you've seen this probably a hundred times before, but I've got on, on my Sam Comfort box, I've only got two holes. One right there at the top, and one right there at the bottom. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to put two shots in the top, three, and we're going to put in the bottom and then we're just kind of gonna put three all around all right that's it for now we'll come back uh, today is April the 20th I believe so we'll come back I don't know maybe Friday and check it out because it's swarm season. A lot of people are calling about swarms, and I just don't have time to do everything that I, I need to do. And I'm not even working my regular job right now, and I still don't quite have time to do everything. But anyway, we're going to come back Friday, whatever the date is. And we'll be coming back every Friday or Sunday and rebating it and checking it out until we have a swarm. And until we have a swarm... I won't post any more about this particular box. God bless. Bye-bye.